Guys, do my best to contain my excitement. Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys pendulum magicians with double iris and electrum. Let's fucking go, baby. My voice cracked, but I don't care because electrum's coming back in one week and no one's gonna stop the pen god and the disciples. <laughs> electrum and double iris together? Electrum and double iris not banned together? Do you guys have any idea what that did years ago? And now they're going to give it back to us because Electrum is coming back in one week. So if you guys are hyped for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. We're almost at 42,000 subscribers. So let's hit that, boys. And when we hit 42,000 subscribers, I got a special surprise for you guys. So smash the subscribe button. Also, let's get the video to 1,000 likes. And with that being said, boys, it's time. It's time to show some love to Double Iris. Because Electrum can be back. Double Iris is going to be the best Yu-Gi-Oh card in the game with Electrum. Ice. So get your play mats now, boys. Let's go. So with that being said, it's time. Do the same music, baby. It's time to show the world how good Electrum is with Double Iris and Magician. Let's go. <laughs> So if you guys look at my hand, my hand is not even that good. I'm just showcasing you guys an 8 negate combo tutorial or 7 negate combo tutorial right now with a shit hand. Typically, you have like way more cards in hand as well. This is just a very typical combo. We have open curtain razor and like four magicians. You know what? It's like not even that good. We go, oh my baby, oh my god, it feels good to play Electrum. Like, oh, please come back. Oh my god. If Electrum comes back, I will literally shave my entire beard and eat my beard. Like happily, with, with joy and I'll have a smile on my face. Anyways... Unless I'm going to send Jackal, the great feeling you can have to actually send Jackal or Master. Holy shit, that's so beautiful. We're going to scale Oath, add the Celestial Magician. We're going to use Electrum and pop double Iris. Search the Pendulum Graph. Oh my god, that felt good. And then we're going to uh, draw one as well. Here we're going to Pendulum Summon. This combo does not play around Nibiru, but if we really wanted to, we could. There's a very cool combo where you go Electrum to send Chronograph. And you end up, uh, regardless, getting an Appalooza. And then you just Pendulum all the cards under Appalooza. It, you could easily do this, except this format, no one plays Nibiru. So you're just wasting your time doing this game one. No one's playing Nibiru game one in, in this format. So we go Needle Fiber with the Harmonizing to bring a Tuning Magician. This is also why Needle Fiber, Electrum, Selene, all these broken links in the same deck. That's so amazing, man. That's incredible. So uh, also why we're playing Magicians is because Needle Fiber is really only good in Magicians. It has a built-in Jet Sync, Jet Sync Round. It has a built-in Glow Up Bulb. So here, what we're going to do is a really cool combo. We're going to synchro these into Dragster. But you don't really need a Dragster. This will be better if it was a Mascarena. So I think Mascarena will be better. But if you guys can't afford uh, Mascarena and the Goddess, go into Dragster. And then here we're going to go into... Like, this is a budget deck if you want it to be. Very easily budget. Uh, here we're going to synchro these into a Savage Dragon. And then uh, I'm just going to show you guys the combo I wanted with uh, the IP Mascarena. Uh, so the sexy looking Mascarena. We're going to put that right under the Selene. I'm gonna have a Savage Dragon. So this is the board we have so far. And it looks like just like a normal random pen board, right? Well, here's the beauty of the Electrum. You could use, our hand was not good, man. This board is done with just like one Harmonizing Magician and one Electrum. It's so easy. So I'm gonna show you guys what this board actually means. Cause looking at it, you'll think, yo Trip, what the hell is this? Well, I'm gonna show you guys just how broken this is. So on the opponent's turn, you're gonna negate a card with Savage. You're gonna obviously activate a spell. You're gonna negate a card with Jackal. So that's two negates already. You're gonna formula synchron draw a card after you negate with Savage and uh, go Satellite Warrior to pop two more cards. Pendulum Gap is gonna be able to pop a card. So, and then after all that, you're gonna have Mascarena to, with one of their cards and two of yours after using negates to go into the Goddess card. So look how many negates this is, boys. This is seven negates just like that. And on top of that, when Pendulum Gap pops a card, well, Celestial could protect your Savage or anything like that. But it'll also add a card because it's about Pendulum Graph. So we're going to end up with the, these counters here, the amount of negates we're going to have against them. And we're going to have another, like, this is not the actual board. I'm showing the negates. We have one, two interruptions in Satellite Warrior. The Savage Dragon was a negate three. One for Pendulum Graph, that's four. If we had Poison, that would have been five. Or, or if we had Penclaw. Jackal, that would be six. Mascarena, Underworld, will be one card just to link off the card for seven. And then you're going to also have... Uh, the effect that negates all the cards on the field or the effect that negates the grave effect on the, on, on the grave. So this card is so insane with Mascarena. I can't even stress how good that is. And if your opponent's playing anything else, you can always go into Unicorn with the Mascarena or why put Unicorn actually when you get to do this, but this is insane. Like, And you have four cards in hand and they're all magicians. So next turn, 
Did we XYZ once? No, we still have the crazy XYZs and synchros that magicians can play. You can still have access code and you just destroy them. Going second is way better because now, before you only had one power card in Selene. But now your power cards are Selene, Electrum, Needle Fiber. All these cards are power cards now uh, if by playing magicians, especially Electrum. Electrum with this deck is absolutely ridiculous. And with the power of this card getting released, now it's like your opponent is never safe. Electrum, I'm pretty sure could go into this card alone. Uh, probably not, but pretty close. Oh, definitely. Like, Electrum before Pen Summon, then definitely. Because if you Pen Summon two cards underneath, then you can do a whole bunch of shenanigans. Anyways, that's uh, the deck pro... Sorry, that's a combo tutorial. Uh, I'll be showcasing more duels when it actually gets released, obviously. This is a little sneak peek of how good this deck is. Now I'm going to showcase you guys uh, the actual deck list. Let's go. This is the deck list that I, I was using uh, to showcase you guys a combo tutorial. Uh, very reliant on double iris and as you guys see there's only one pendulum call the reason behind it is i do not want a pendulum call for anything i want blue lines to search iris 99 percent of the time or a pendulum graph so that's why you're playing wisdom mine it's extremely good with electromite and uh, oaf dragon is also extremely good because you can send harmo at harmo uh get a plus one with the wisdom so it's very mandatory and very amazing uh with the electrum like this so triple wisdom one iris double oaf dragon triple harmonizing one black fang because once you run out of the double iris effects of here, you want Black Fang in your scale to trigger off Electrum and stuff. Uh, one Celestial, one Purple Poison, one Dragon Pit, one Time Gazer. All these have their uses. Uh, one Jackal, double Cerberus, and triple Chronograph. Uh, one Jackal, two Cerberus is fine. I definitely don't want too many. But Cerberus becomes way better with Electromite because even if they Ash the Cerberus, you just need any way to Electromite and you just pop the Cerberus. So uh, you could play three and two if you want, but this deck was really tight for me, so it's one and two. Triple Chrono, Triple Curtain Razor. Curtain Razor is, is literally better than Dark Worm. If you hard draw Dark Worm and Normal Summon it, uh, you're going to need another extender like Cerberus or Chronograph or a Foolish. So it's actually better. That, uh, Curtain Razor is better because Curtain Razor is a guaranteed uh, extender. And if you don't can't make Electrum for your Pen Summon, you could still do a, a serious big-ass board. Basically the same thing you guys just saw, except maybe minus like one, a Jackal or something. But it's just way better if you do it before to play around Hand Traps. The point of Electrum is to play around all interruptions. Not because of the negates it puts up, but because the chokeholds of the deck, if you hand trap Electrum, or if you imperm Electrum or stop its effect, I don't give a fuck. Like, it doesn't matter. You know, like, it's just there as a easy interruption negate, and then you just pendulum underneath it. So, right now, like, it, it's just so good. And then, yeah, double Dark Worm, one gate, zero. I don't want to hard draw the Dark Worm, especially because we're only playing one pen call because of the fact that Electrum cannot pop the Magician scales. If you were not playing the Magicians, and didn't care about double iris like if it was like forget double iris and wisdom you're just playing harmonizing turbo for the magicians then definitely play triple pen call but in this version where we're very reliant on double electron popping iris and wisdom effects and oath then uh pen call is not good at all one is fine just in case you brick but in that scenario i'd play like six dark worms because revolution dragon just in case one gate zero one souls you don't need to play souls at all i have a cool combo with this uh i'll show it on patreon uh, it's a cool combo with time star and souls uh with, where it kind of gives you a free jackal especially if your selene has if you open four spells uh it gives you some insane combo if you have a spell you could use after you summon out the jackal you got some very cool combos which i'll show like extra combos on patreon if you guys are interested in the deck uh just link in the, down below one tuning magician very important i'm literally debating not playing desires because tuning magician is that good but look at the extra deck like, you can put up as many negates as you want with or without tuning magician so even if you desires it away it doesn't matter three desires one Foolish, Double Shrine. You can actually play Ignite Reload in this deck as well, just because uh, the only draw card you're really playing is Desires. But I just opted not to. I just want plus ones in the deck, uh, spell card-wise. Foolish, Double Shrine, Alliance, to get the Pendulum Graphs for Double Iris, one Pendulum, and Pendulum Graphs. Extra deck now, my baby. Please come back, man. Please come back, Electro Mike, please. Uh, Needle Fiber, Celine, Celine, Access Code, and then these, look at these links, bro. Mascarena, Appaloosa, Underworld Goddess. These are expensive. If these are a little too out of your, like, money. Like, if you guys want to make this budget, this deck is very easily budget. I'm going to make a budget version of this deck as well. Uh, I'll be posting it on YouTube. Don't worry, it won't be on Patreon. But I will be posting on YouTube in the next few days a budget version of Pendulum Electrum. So, you guys can check that out in the description. I think it's going to be the top comment, where if the top comment gets 100 replies, I'll be posting budget pendulums anyways 
Uh, yeah, those those links. It's very easy to do. One Zeus obviously won't be in the budget version, but one Baguska, one Time Star. Baguska because not just because of its effect in defense, but going second if you put this in attack mode, you'll be able to resolve Zeus very easy. So it's dual purpose. One Ignister for Dragoon, Savage Dragon Formula, and Satellite Warrior. I'm a big fan of this deck. I think it's amazing. I didn't put up a side deck because the the meta is going to change completely when Electromite comes out because it'll be a whole new ban list. So the side decks are relevant right now because you don't know how the format will look like. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys love the content, love the video, and love Electro, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. We almost have 42,000 subscribers, boys. So let's hit that number. And let's pray. Let's pray to the Yu-Gi-Oh gods that Electro might really does come back, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.